Hi there, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hi Sag, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Sagittarius. So let's begin. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you, you have gotten engaged or will be. For some of you, this just means that you are entering this new cycle where you will be meeting people that you find yourself saying, hey, I could definitely see myself taking things to the next level. Some of you, it was about healing. Well, you deserve love. You are lovable. It was healing. So with the healing, self-love, knowing you are worthy and you deserve it now you are attracting in the right things sometimes we give people the benefit of the doubt one too many times sometimes it's a self-esteem thing sometimes it's us needing to work on our own shit right we keep accepting crumbs however it works for you 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 have discovered that you do deserve love that you deserve to have happiness and it looks like you're finding it six of cups here past life soulmate connection you guys would have a deep soulmate connection you would feel like it's the stranger that you recognize, okay? The eight of wands sitting here too could be about communication, but it's also travel. This may have been long distance. This could also have happened very quickly with the eight of wands because it's fast moving energy. King of wands and the page of wands. What's funny is that there is quick energy here but then you have this energy of watching with the Page of Swords. And if you look at this King of Wands, he's not making any moves. Wands are action and movement, but in this particular combination here, it's like no one took action. And I don't know what that's about. Please take that as it's gonna fit for you. Somebody here, in this could be the past. In the past, they were always hesitant to make moves to take things to the next level. That could be it too. Ten of Pentacles is financial abundance and success. Somebody here could be very financially stable. This also symbolizes a very long-term committed relationship. Again, engagement for some. For some, it's moving in together. For some, it's just being committed in like a long-term committed relationship is like it for you. Because for some people, that's a big deal. See, it happens suddenly somehow. There's a sudden ending and then a sudden new beginning trust and rest assured that with the tower because the tower is divine intervention that whatever and however this happens it is divinely guided to happen to end or to begin king of swords aquarius gemini libra there is travel here with the six of swords it also is moving away from being cold and detached to feeling more so maybe this is somebody's struggle that in the past they've been sort of cold or not so willing to open up and connect to take things to the next level. This could be what they're moving away from. This comes with the whole deserving love thing here. Also, somebody was afraid of commitment. they were just afraid of it it's not even like they had an issue with it they were just like nah i don't really particularly care for it king of pentacles now they're ready to be solid and to plant seeds and to be grounded also it feels like it could be an earth sign yeah Taurus, virgo capricorn but it's just some somebody now who goes i think i'm ready to make an offer i think i'm ready to make a move Maybe it could be a fast. They change their mind quickly. Maybe they're sitting there doing nothing or it's a type of person that like doesn't want to ever commit. And then all of a sudden, boom, they commit or they get engaged or married. And people's like, what the fuck? What the hell? What the frig? It could be in the public eye. Six of wands. Victory, success, all lies on you. Very interesting energy here. So it, but it definitely feels like somebody's finally ready to commit or the commitment happens very suddenly after no commitment or if it's because you know the fact that somebody here may have been afraid to commit i don't know how it's gonna work oh my good lord great fortune jesus christ somebody's aligned somebody has a pretty amazing fucking life and if it's not that way yet it will be this is a great opportunities this is sudden luck. This is abundance, okay? This is all the good things, if you will. Hmm. Change. Somebody here could be moving. 
moving or it's even also career change too but there's just a sudden change in somebody's life like their whole life changes it's life changing there's a there's a decision or something here happens it's life changing courtship so it could have to do with who you're dating two different worlds maybe one's famous one's not maybe that's what it is maybe there's an age difference here too with mature man it's very possible It feels like there's a quick commitment or quick, whether it's commitment in a relationship or engagement, um, there's hesitancy on someone's part though. That's why you gotta be careful. You, it's not great to be hasty. Cause sometimes when we do things very impulsively and out of haste, we later change our minds. Especially if this happened during like a retrograde or something, right? It's Cause then things change after we, we, we look at it differently. It's not to say that things can't happen quickly, but it's just that sometimes when a very hasty decision is made, oh, like you make it all in emotions because oh, it's puppy love right now and I'm so in love and I'm just so, oh my God. But then like later you go, oh yeah, no fucking ways. The magician, the sun, sun is masculine energy. The sun is success. It's yes. See, somebody said yes quickly. It literally says yes, exclamation mark, look. They said, yes. Oh my God, yes. And then it's sort of like, no. The magician is showing one face but does something else, y'all. It can also be, um, you know, about like somebody who is, I don't know, it's, a, it's manifestation. They're manifesting something, the magician, right? They have all of the power. It's as above, so below. But I don't feel that. I feel like somebody said, yes. And then like later maybe goes, mm. or maybe this is some this is something that has happened to you before. And here's your energy, Sagittarius, temperance. So yeah, it's definitely, this is, yeah, for sure something happened in here remember now the sagittarius temperance energy is known as the truth seekers so if things start feeling off in alignment that's not going to fly the mountain now there's a fucking problem just be careful because for some of you this might end up being happily ever after like you meet you get engaged you fall in love or you move in together or whatever this is and you're fine you live happily ever after but for some of you they could have been hasty and now it's like oh no there's indifference there's this thing about cold maybe somebody shuts off and they're cold all of a sudden because something inside of them just goes no i think i made a mistake the compass true north some people are finding true north in this connection right but then for some people, they're realizing, oh my God, that's not true north. It's a life path. Some of you finding your life path, the hermit, Virgo energy here. Um, the hermit is seeking, is on, on a quest, seeking within oneself. This can also be somebody who's very analytical, highly intelligent, but they're very like nitpicky. So somebody here who is very picky, and eventually, after a while, what whatever they said yes to or whatever they chose, they realize later it's not what they want. They may be finding fault in it. The visitor. It was technically the rider, but I literally heard in my head the visitor. So there's a lot of travel back and forth here. It could be long distance. So you have the messenger. It's movement. It's traveling. It's green light progress. You know, it's this whole yes, yes, yes. And then there's sort of like this hesitancy, like, whoa. Whoa. Did I make the right choice? Now, for some of you, you surely fucking did. It's like, hell yeah, this is it. Oh my God, can you believe it? Holy shit, what is, can you imagine? Oh my God, I just met him now, we're in love, we're getting married. And you'll live happily ever after. But then there's some that they're going, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's the whole TikTok, oh no. Cue the TikTok music. Somebody here was hasty, almost like under a spell. Not that they were literally under a spell, but you know, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, you know how when you're in love, it's that puppy love, that honeymoon stage. And then you, you do dumb things sometimes. It's like that, that whole facade sort of like reality sets in. And the reality was later going, yeah, I don't think so. The snake, see, it's toxic. It's like, fucking betrayal like 
manipulation and just i don't know what that is honey just beware could be a snake in the grass somehow some way Again, I feel deception though. With see, with the fox look, I feel deception. I feel like that. The magician, they, they're they're not being honest. They're hiding what they really feel. The polar bear. You know, the bear can be somebody very, very, very wealthy. It can be somebody who is a boss. They're in charge. They're the CEO. Um, be careful. There's some kind of deception here, though. There could be a false self mask too. Meaning that it's not what it seems. Somebody may say yes, but inside they're like, oh my god, I should have fucking said no. I don't know how that works. Anyways, let's hit your extended. If you would like to purchase that, click on the link below. I'd like to thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, and do not get scammed by these people on Instagram. They're nonstop trying to create fake accounts pretending to be me and all these other people. They're DMing, saying, hey, you want to book a reading? I would never DM you to do a reading, and that's not even how I schedule my readings. Everything is through PayPal. I invoice you, okay? That way we're both covered. Now, if you want to purchase crystal bracelets, go to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. All right, so I shall see you guys in the extended. Love you.